Sarah Snook is an Australian actress who has gained international recognition for her role as Shiv Roy in Succession. Her portrayal of Shiv has been widely praised for her nuanced and complex performance. She has also appeared in a wide range of films, including Predestination, Steve Jobs, and The Dressmaker. Her talent and versatile performances have established her as one of the rising stars in the entertainment industry. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Sarah Snook. She has wanted to act since she was a child. She wanted to pursue a career in the entertainment industry after seeing her sister's performance in a production of Peter Pan. When she saw her sister fly on stage, Snook was blown away. She told Backstage, I was like, oh my god, I did not know my sister could fly. After becoming enamored with the magic of theater, she started taking acting lessons and participating in school productions as a child. She got her start with smaller Australian projects. Born in Adelaide on December 1, 1987, in Australia, Snook got her start in acting through smaller projects in her home country. She started her acting career in short films such as Crystal Jam and The Best Man before moving on to television later in 2010. Her first big supporting role was in the supernatural drama comedy Spirited, about a dentist who leaves her failing marriage to move into a new apartment where the ghost of an English rock star happens to also reside. After her first major role in Spirited, Snook started branching out to different, bigger projects and working with more well-known actors. She studied at the National Institute of Dramatic Art. Snook also has extensive stage experience in Australia, and fans would be pleased to know that the actress was trained at Australia's most prestigious drama school, the National Institute of Dramatic Arts. Unlike most schools, NIDA holds a very limited amount of space for acting students, which makes Snook's acceptance and attendance at the institution more noteworthy. Shiv Roy on Succession is her biggest role to date. It's safe to say that Shiv Roy on Succession has been Sarah Snook's biggest role to date. The hit show has made her a household name. Her portrayal of Shiv has been widely praised for her nuanced and complex performance. She has won several awards, including a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. She originally turned down Succession. Sarah Snook's Succession character, Shiv Roy, has ended up becoming one of the most fascinating figures on the show and how she reflects the complicated position women can occupy in major corporations. Despite all the rich material she's delivered, though, Snook initially found herself hesitant to join the show. During a conversation with Variety, she said she worried that, if the world is going to be interested in a bunch of white dudes talking about business, and if I'm the only woman in that, then I'm likely to get sidelined. She didn't want to be a prop, so she said no to their offer. However, she reconsidered when they asked her to join the series again, and she considered how interesting the creators were. She then decided to take the role and use the Shiv Roy role to fight for female characters across the board. She almost starred in Persuasion. Before Dakota Johnson claimed the role of Anne Elliott, Snook nearly starred in Persuasion. According to The Hollywood Reporter, she was going to star in a more historically accurate version of Persuasion for Searchlight, but once Netflix had greenlit their own project, it was scrapped. Snook cited a great script and director as the main reason she signed on to play Anne, and given her ability to combine biting sarcasm with witty brevity, she would have given a strong performance. She once took on dual roles. In the 2014 film Predestination, Snook plays the unmarried mother, a character that presents itself as a man and a woman in the film. She was convinced that playing the male character would be more challenging than the female one, only to realize later on that it was the other way around. She told Gizmodo, I thought, well hey, I'm female, I can probably do that easier. But, in the end, I actually found that the hardest part, because of not knowing quite where to pitch Jane. She needed to be feminine enough to be a woman, and then masculine enough to be able to become a man, and believe that that transformation could have happened, or that she had that inside her anyway. She almost took on the lead role in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Back in 2011, the remake of the hit film The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo was released, starring Rooney Mara alongside Daniel Craig. However, it turns out, the career-defining role almost went to Sarah Snook instead. According to her, she came down to the finals with Mara for David Fincher's English-language Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. She told Awards Chatter, it was between myself and Rooney Mara. That could also just be, you get told these things. Hey, well, I didn't get it. That's the end of the story. But actually, philosophically, at the time I had this opinion anyway, I was quite happy I didn't get it. I was quite young and quite green and very wide-eyed I think in a way. 
I think I would have been a very different actor now had I got that role at such a young age. She proposed to her husband. She is married to comedian Dave Lawson. The pair began as friends before getting closer during the coronavirus pandemic. Snook proposed to Lawson on Halloween in 2020 and they were married in February 2021. She told Vogue Australia, We've been friends since 2014, lived together, traveled together, always excited to see each other, but totally platonic. We've just never been single at the same time. I proposed and we got married in February in my backyard. As the actor explained, it was a low-key, secret ceremony with both the bride and groom wearing blundstone boots. In 2023, Snook announced that she and Lawson were expecting their first child while on the red carpet of the Succession season 4 premiere, telling E.T. that she was expecting a baby. She's an avid traveler. Snook enjoys traveling to different parts of the world and learning about different cultures and traditions. After she wrapped filming on season 2 of Succession, she jetted off to Croatia, Italy, and Spain. She told Vulture that travel is in her blood. Her mother met her father, they're now divorced, while traveling in Papua New Guinea and her sisters live there and in London, respectively.